We're talking with Andrew Miller. Hi, Andrew. Howdy. And Andrew is with Skylight, a universal smartphone to microscope mount, right? That's exactly okay, right. So tell us, Andrew, how this works. By the way, you are the inventor, the creator, the CEO, the chief bottle washer of this organization. And janitor, everything. I have a feeling that it's a one-man organization. Two-person organization. Two-person, but you're the main person. Here. I'm equal partners with my girlfriend. So. Oh well. Okay, right. never mind. I won't even get into that argument. Let's so. stay out of it. Okay. But, yeah. but at any rate, so we. So let's talk about your smartphone now. What, yeah, what so have we got here? Tell us. But tell us what we're looking at. So this is a universal smartphone to microscope adapter. What you have is when you digital microscopy and digital microscopes cost thousands of dollars. And then cameras that you attach to your microscope can cost hundreds to thousands of dollars. So what we offer is a simple device that costs much, much, much less to affordably upgrade a microscope you already have in the classroom to a digital microscope. Okay. And so why do you want to do that? Because it's cheap and you can save, uh, you can save your images and you can manipulate your images and you can even take video. And you can share one microscope with a group of students and then they can engage with the microscope in a way that they're used to, which is with their cell phone. And then those students can take pictures with their cell phones and take those pictures home to do homework at home, etc. So you can have digital lesson plans and all of this at very low cost. Let's see how it works. Tell me how it works here. Show me so here. the device is simple. It's just what's in white. It clamps to your eyepiece. It works with any microscope whose eyepiece is between 1 and 1 1.8 inches in diameter, which is almost any microscope uh, and then it's just a platform that slides left and right like that and up and down with these clips to orient the camera on your cell phone over the eyepiece okay so any cell phone works almost any cell phone works so we the big phablets the iphone plus so the phablet phones do not fit this model, but we're coming out with a new model in just oh, a couple of months. Because your girl, girlfriend told you to make one to fit the phablet. You said you weren't going to get into I'm it. Sorry, I didn't want to go. Okay. So, so, <laughs> so what do we got here? So we got, we got. There's our specimen down here, which is a, a dime, and then here's what it looks like on the phone. That's okay. exactly right. So the phone isn't doing anything special. Whatever you're looking through your microscope or whatever you have under the microscope is what you're going to see on your cell phone. So if you have a compound microscope, you can look at cells. If you've got a stereo microscope, you can look at bugs. If you've got a fluorescence microscope, you can do high-end research level microscopy. And the images you capture are whatever you see with your own. With your and then own depending on your phone, you can go from like a 5 megapixel image to 8 megapixels. Some phones have 12 megapixels. So that's a really important point. So if you go out and buy a camera for your microscope or a microscope with a camera, the cameras that they have are typically 5 years old. And because they're not selling very many, they don't have a good economy of scale. So they're usually 1 or 2 or 3 megapixel. Whereas your smartphone, because they sell so many, they can have really great cameras at really low cost. And then something that uh, a lot of schools are doing right now is the uh, bring your own device. Yeah. And so the kids all have whatever their, the latest. So might as well let them use them since they're sitting in their in their pockets. Might as well put them to academic use, right? Exactly. I mean, they're going to use them anyway, so it's a, put them to the right use. It's okay, so that's a really great idea. It's a really simple idea. Nice, nice execution. What's the cost? So the cost is $75 on our website. Okay. And uh, not $1 billion, which would be a lot. It's, uh, 75 is pretty darn reasonable. And if somebody was interested, what's the website? So the website is www.skylightscope.com. Skylightscope.com. It's not... Uh, there it is. Hold on. Let me just Skylightscope.com. Okay. And you're Andrew Miller. You're the... Inventor, janitor. Second in command. Second in at Skylight. Okay. Awesome. Andrew, thanks for talking to us today. Appreciate it. And when they get it, it comes here. They get the mount in the box. And good luck. Thank you, Tim. Great idea.